After doing your pulmonary auscultation, you can evaluate the heart. So the first thing that you need to do when evaluating the heart um, is also what you do with auscultation, is to find the point of maximum intensity. And that is usually over your fifth intercostal space. So you can count the ribs till you reach the fifth intercostal space. The other thing that you can also do is just lift up the leg and where the point of the elbow ends, this is usually where your point of maximum intensity would be. But you can also feel, and you can feel where the heart actually bumps against the chest cavity in some dogs. So you find that first, and there you evaluate the heart for its rate, the rhythm, any abnormal lung sounds, and then the sounds of your S1 and S2 um, heart sounds. So S1 is generated by the closure of your AV valves, and S2 closure of your pulmonary canal aortic valves. After evaluating that at the point of maximum intensity, you can go to the aortic valve, which is at the fourth intercostal space, and this is slightly above the costochondral junction that you would evaluate the aortic valve. After that, you can go to the pulmonic valve, which is in the third intercostal space, and that is located just above the level of the sternum. At the same time when evaluating the heart, you also need to make sure that you feel the femoral pulse so that you can make sure that there is a heartbeat for every pulse.